Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. So I unlocked the Exion Assault Rifle and the easy way to unlock it is just play gun game. Now I highly recommend watching this video until the end. I get some hate mail from the enemy team because I absolutely destroyed with this weapon. So by now you guys know I just love using the best of the best weapons. And sometimes when I pick up a DLC weapon off the floor, I don't even, you know, use it, I don't even bother unlocking it because most of the times it's not that good. But when I picked up this weapon, I absolutely loved it. The iron sight especially is so good. So I immediately went and unlocked it. So you guys know my personality by now. You guys trust me. Out of all YouTubers, you guys trust me to make the decision when I say something is good and I'm actually using it, then it must be good. And I'm telling you, this gun is worth time unlocking it. Now for the intel, what attachments should you use on the Exion Assault Rifle? Well, for the first part, you only need two attachments right now on this weapon. This is before they nerf it. I got a feeling they will nerf this weapon. I hope they don't, but I have a feeling they will. So I'm using Quick Draw and I'm using Foregrip. That is all you need on this weapon. This is actually the first game I'm playing when I unlocked this weapon. The first actual game when I unlocked this weapon, this is the results here. And I'm using foregrip and quick draw. I had those attachments unlocked because I picked the gun off of the floor from dead enemies before and I used it. So that's how I unlocked those two attachments. But playing and putting a lot of hours into the gun now, I unlocked every attachment. And I can tell you the two foundations for this weapon is quick draw and foregrip. A suppressor is also good on this weapon, but really and truly all you need are those two attachments and the gun will serve you well. You want to reserve that extra two points for that third attachment and use it on a perk instead. So the perks that I'm using are Ghost, Scavenger, Hardline, Dead Silence and I'm also using Dexterity. You want to use this gun to get your streaks, it's an opportunist weapon. When they present any weaknesses to you, you destroy them. When they backstab you, you destroy them. Head on, you rely on the iron sight, the clear iron sight to snap onto the target and absolutely melt them and destroy them. And have that really good accuracy, you'll actually think you're cheating. If someone else is recommending you to use an elo sight or a red dot sight on this weapon, then they have no idea how this weapon is supposed to function, is supposed to work. This Exion Assault Rifle is actually one of my favorite assault rifles in the game right now, it's that good. Also take advantage of the crosshair, there's a nice crosshair for hip firing, so when they're close to you like that guy jumped into the window, he jumps straight into my reticle, just hip fire him and dodge him, strafe him from the sides, as easy kills like that. This gun is that good. No, there are actually some haters on the enemy team. When they got absolutely smacked, they never encountered a player like me in the most humble way possible, I mean that. They never encountered an elite player like me and I just snapped onto target and I absolutely outplayed them, outpositioned them. Everything I teach you guys, I'm using here and they got wrecked so they didn't know what was going on. They never got smacked like that before. You also have to remember, this is my actual first time using this weapon properly. So in the future, you're going to see some more devastating results using this weapon. And I'm going to be fine-tuning it as well. And as you can probably tell, yes, I do have the flu at the moment. But the flu isn't going to stop me. If I see some buffaloes roaming on the enemy team behaving badly, of course, I'm just going to pull out my weapon and just absolutely go to tongue on them. I'm going to drop some salt on them like salt be. Now, in all seriousness, I like this new approach that they are taking they actually put in these actually good weapons now that you can earn I like that it's not requiring you to get it from a supply drop yes you can get variants in a supply drop that's fair enough right they they're a business they have to make money but the base version you can unlock it by just doing some challenges so in that way they can actually put good guns in the game they don't have to you know tone it down they can actually make it competitive with the other weapons in the game so people can't complain the k bar and the osa will actually beat this weapon at close to medium ranges so you have to be careful of that and you have to outplay them outmaneuver them and have better positioning so always be wary of that fact this gun actually rewards you for being accurate so if you're there and you're aiming at the target you're shooting the target but you're missing some shots don't try to realign your crosshair onto the target move away and reposition yourself don't just you know try to reposition and realign the crosshair onto the target you will die because that opponent will kill you with a faster time to kill weapon so of course but if you're on target and your shot is on point 
then you can have devastating results. So it requires you to be accurate. It requires you to snap onto them, control that recoil, stay calm, stay focused, and hit your shots. I do think the Warfighter Specialist with Combat Focus and Ping is the best specialist to use for this weapon. It really works in harmony with this weapon because you want to get your streaks using this Exeon Assault Rifle. You don't want to go on nuclear streaks because you can't go on a nuclear streak with it. It doesn't have to perk. So what do you use it for? You just go and get those massive streaks, get your high streaks and absolutely destroy and devastate the enemy team. And that's how you use this weapon and that's how you use it effectively. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Stay tuned at the end. I will post a screenshot of the hate mail I got straight after. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Please leave a like if you did guys. Please share the videos guys. I would love that and it would absolutely help me out a lot. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Aimbot? Nah, you just got Captain Shock and Ord Boy.